Hello YouTube, welcome to this video. Today's tutorial is going to be up about particle effects. Now if you don't already know, particle effects, what they do is they um, they represent natural phenomena that would like occur in the real world. For example, fire, rain, smoke and things like that. And as you can see in this map, I have utilized particle effects quite a lot really like over here for example and um, over here this is like a little campfire and also the smoke as well that's another particle effect so that's like a combination of two and then again here this car is on fire so those three, those are like the most obvious particle effects, but I've also used some for the waterfall. So if I was just to like turn off the main, that the waterfall object is gone and now it's just strictly particles. And if I turn it on, can you see the waterfall object comes back? Or perhaps let me do it the other way around. So the main's on now. Let me turn on Fox as well. The main is on now, and there's no particle effects. Switch on the particles, and that's how the waterfall looks. So to create a particle effect, what you want to do is go to View, Open Pane, Database View, and in Database View, you want to go to Particles. And so far for this level, I've used Smoke, Fire, Water. And waterfall click here and click whichever one you want so say smoke bar I've got this error message because I've already loaded up this part of cool library so once you've done that you can go back and let's just say waterfall and then there's three folders then you can view the different sort of particles that are in there um, there's all different ones really so just have a just have a like, look and if you like one then and you want to use it on your map you could just drag it and can you see it's appeared Look, there we have a particle effect, and that's really all there is to it. You can change the the properties if you wanted to. There's like the count, like how rapid it looks, and um, yeah, like for this waterfall, can you notice there's a there's a spray sort of thing, like there's a spray over here so if I was let me close this a second if I was to turn off the particle there you know, notice how that spray goes the spray goes and um, there's also like, like it looks very vicious as well that was that was due to one of the um, the one of the particles I found in database view so just look in database view and use a particle that you think looks, looks okay and then like also don't forget don't forget to um hold on where is it don't forget to name your particle i haven't done that but it is best to name your particles because look, they're all the same i can't tell the difference between any of them so you can name your particles and probably be wise to assign them to a layer as well and that's all there is to particle effects really so thank you for watching